Oh, it's your farm, Jess. It's 220 acres. Are you married? No, no, not yet. No. <laughs> You're now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rural little, isn't it? It is a gorgeous place, yeah. So what makes good milk and cream, Jess? I think um, as fresh as you can get, you know, cows are happy grazing pasture in summer and you know, in, in the barns in the winter, but on clover silage. And, yeah, happy cows make good milk and all the, all the ladies here are very, very happy. And those happy ladies make great cream, so let's go and produce pudding perfection. Look, behind you. And there's the ladies who make this all possible. Merry Christmas, girls, and thank you for your donation. And this is what we're using, liquid gold. If this was oil, that'd be Texas. Start off with about 500 mil, that's a pint in old money, of the girls' finest. It's just so luxurious. Look at the way that pours. It's so oh. Christmas. Our trick with a pan of cotta, just to give it that little extra Christmas feel to it, is some rum. Now, how do we apply the rum, I hear you cry? What are they? With raisins. Rum and raisins. Classic combination. Pour a little bit of rum just to rehydrate those raisins. Look at that. Now, if you leave them kind of for an hour or two, they'll swell up and they'll be huge. Little kind of balls of flavour bombs. Oh, lovely. And then when you bite into them, they just release that, oh, that sweet. Sweet. Oh. If you're worried about the alcohol, we'll kind of leave it off and you can rehydrate them with orange juice if you're kind of non alcoholic and you don't want your kids to have a bit of rum. Gelatine. We found out by great experimentation, trial, tribulation, three and a half sheets of gelatine works well. Put the three and a half sheets in some cold water until it goes flaccid. <laughs> by flaccid, we mean get a bit of a wobble on. Soft. Loose. While we're waiting for that to go, let's put the cream on to warm. Why not? Because what does panna cotta mean? It means cooked cream, you know. Now, when we invented this dish, we thought of what are the flavours of Christmas? Well, we thought ginger. It's got to be, hasn't it? Bit of ginger, warm and spice, nice on those cold nights of loveliness. Ground allspice for that perfect Christmas pudding esque. Do you know what I think this is? I think it's our best dish we've ever done. I think it's simple enough, isn't it? It's yeah, good. We've done some it. belters. We have. It's good. You're going to like it. Cinnamon and nutmeg, freshly grated. You're going to get a lovely speckle in Come your panna cotta. To the speckle, add four tablespoons of caster sugar. Uno. Rudolph. Donna. Blitzen. The cream. The Christmas spices, the sugar, are coming to a boil. It needs to come to a boil. And don't forget, you do need to simmer nice and gently for three minutes. Mm -hmm. Take it off the heat, then put the gelatine in. The gelatine is now limp. Look at that. And just pour that in. That's great. Now, just bung in the rum-soaked raisins. And mm. seeing as Dave's driving, and I'm on the back being Santa Claus, I think you've earned it. That is going to be good. <laughs> Leave that out for Santa. <laughs> with, you know, Christmas Eve with his carrot. Oh. So that's well mixed, isn't it? Yeah. We just need to fill the moulds. Now, it can be a mould of choice. It can be non-stick, sticky. We'll show you how to get them out of the mould. But these are kind of just classic Dariel moulds. Nothing fancy, just the ones you'd use for little steak and kidney puddings. Now, look at the texture of this. Oh, it's like anaglypta. The raisins have gone to the bottom of the jug. We will rake them out and distribute them evenly. Now, remember, these are flavour bombs. Oh, look at Ooh. those. Oh, man. Now just let that cool completely. Stick it in the fridge. It'll set solid, and honestly, if you cook nothing else this Christmas that you've seen on the telly, please cook this one. It's brilliant. Oh, and into the fridge. Now once the panna cotta is set, put hot water in a bowl and place the moulds in the water. Leave for a few seconds so the panna cotta becomes loose, and then serve. We're trying out this fantastic dish on Jess, her dad and a friend to see if they too are bowled over by our gorgeous festive pudding. Here we go, the spicy Christmas rum and raisin <laughs> panna cotta. I know what you think. Lovely job. Made with your cream. Fabulous. Beautiful. Beautiful.